friends, I'm about to disembark the ship. You can see that people are getting off the ship right here. We'll be going and doing that. And I'm going to be heading into Nassau, believe it or not, to do an Elvis story. Let's see goes. And land to get food off this people's balcony. And where I've got to go is to that bridge down there. I've got to cross it over to Paradise Island. And then we will find out where Elvis was in the Bahamas. Stay tuned. I'm wanting to go to Paradise Island, so I'm going to do it this way. I got a ferry ride both ways. Carry on, my friend, and I'll, that'll take care of coming back too. Because right. I'm gonna be gonna see you on the way back. Thank you. So there we are, friends. We just took. There's the bridge. So we're on Paradise Island now. Stay tuned. We're gonna go see a cool Elvis spot right here. Yes, we are. But if you walk across this bridge, you pay a toll as well. That's hell. There's your toll right there. This is named after Sir Sidney Poitier. Hello. Yes. And they're driving on the wrong side of the road. Did you see that? Look at the steering wheel. Let's go enjoy a little paradise, Hawaiian style, actually, Bahama style. Still on the golf course on this correct side. Still wheels on the pasture side. Yeah, yo. Man, y'all steering wheels on the wrong side. The right side, man. <laughs> the left side is the right side. You right think so? Sounds like they're a little sensitive about it. So I think where we're going is that resort right there. Yeah, these people are straight up driving on the wrong side of the road. Look at this. Well, if I had to do that, I'd be so mixed up. All right, so this is where we are right here. I just got off and walked all the way around here and went in here and walked through. So I'm here now, so I'm gonna go out and go across and the hotel I'm looking for should be that direction. Stay tuned. Well, you're talking about something to mess your mind up. How about a backward track or something? The security guard behind me says that the towers that I'm trying to go to are actually closed. They're just on the other side of that. So we're going to walk around there. Hello. We're going to walk around. He said there's a way that I can get to the beach on the other side. So that's what we're going to do. I'm sad to hear that it's closed. But we're going to go get those beach shots. Stay tuned. So friends, there is the hotel, and you see they've got these green fences all the way around it. So we're going to do the best we can, but that's definitely where Elvis stayed when he came here. 
demolition permit. So they're tearing this thing down. This is Beach Tower right there. This is no doubt where Elvis and Priscilla stayed. Jerry Schilling, his wife. Joe Esposito, his wife. October 1969. So there's the building right there. And of course you can see that they're tearing it down. Man, can you believe that they're tearing this down? I got here just in time. Unbelievable. Sad. So we're going to see if we can get on the beach side to do some picture lineups. Stay tuned. So there it is from over in the parking lot on the right side. All right, friends, we are on the beach behind the hotel. There's how they would have come down to the to the beach area. So there's the hotel. And the photos of Elvis. If you wonder how those photos happen, stay tuned. So in all the photos that you see, you see there looks like there's a jet out behind Elvis going around, and that's because there is. You see the jet out right there? goes right there just like that so he was standing there's the hotel so he was standing somewhere along in here See how blue the water is right here. Look at that. It's like a little islands out there. But yeah, that's how when you see the photos, it actually looks like he was further down the beach. Down there, closer to those trees, maybe on the other side. I don't think that hotel was there at the time. So if you imagine that hotel not being there and there being trees here. That's where he was, right there. And here's another example. And another example. So this is a postcard I found for Paradise Island Hotel and Villas, and Elvis was standing in the photos right about there on the beach. And you can see that clump of trees right there. So now we'll look back at the picture and I'll point out where that clump of trees is in the photo. So here's the photo. You see him standing here with the young lady. And there's that clump of trees right there that you see in the postcard. There's another example of him right here at the water line. That young lady. And here's an example of him in the water. Now some say that these two were in Hawaii. I don't know. But you can see right there that it could have been right here. They've got a little swimming area out there. They have wave runners here. They have all kinds of cool stuff. But this right here is where it happened at. Yep, right here. So friends, we did a few lineups. I talked to this gentleman, he rents these jet skis, so you can actually come here and rent jet skis. And he told me he didn't know Elvis was ever here, but he knew who Elvis was, of course. So let's just go look and see if we can see anything else. Stay tuned. Wow, that gull is right there. I, I'm sorry, birds, I didn't realize y'all were so close. They're just hanging out on the beach. The cover of the fence is down right here. So yeah, they're really going to it, tearing it down in there. And I couldn't bring my drone. They wouldn't allow it on the ship, sadly. And uh, so are they tearing it down or are they refurbing it? No, uh, what's happening is that uh, they were doing some remodeling. So the, uh -huh. Yeah, so there's currently construction going on. Okay, so it's going to be redone. Yeah, they're not tearing it down. Done. No, not, not tearing it down. Awesome, man. I'm glad about that. 
Yeah. You say for Elvis? Yeah, you know Elvis. Elvis Presley? Yeah. Yeah, he stayed here in 1969. I'll show you the pictures. Look at this. You can tell it was from here because of the way the beach is down there. Well, I mean, yeah. what makes you think that he stayed here, though? Because he did stay. That's that's documented. Documented? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What was the name of the hotel at the time? Uh, let me see. I'll show you the uh, write-up on it. It talks about uh, him actually going and seeing a band, and it was called Paradise Island Hotel, if you'll read that right there. It talks about him going to see a band in here, and there's pictures of him with the band. Yeah. yeah. In October, so it'd be 55 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming up. I mean, they're doing some work on it, so... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just glad to hear that they're not tearing it down because I thought when I saw that demolition thing up front, I went, oh, man. No, it's a lot of work that's happening right now. That's good. Um, so some remodeling, you know, because this being one of the older towers... Yeah. It was in need for some work. Yeah, yeah, no so doubt. They pretty much, they got it out. They're pretty much just refurbishing it. And yeah. It's supposed to come back better than ever. Okay, I hope so. Great to see you, man. Appreciate you. You, you too. You yes, sir. Day, yes, sir. Appreciate you. So there it is, friends. They got security. He said that they are redoing it. They're not destroying it, which is is good. And I don't want them to destroy it. Because we don't need things torn down. So we're going to go down here and do a little tighter lineup. Try to anyway. Stay tuned. Sadly, bad weather came in. They were planning on staying longer and they left. When the bad weather came, Elvis didn't have to stay in bad weather, so he did. And they left. Yeah. But Elvis was here, right there, friends. And right here on this beach. October 1969. In fact, the month before this, they had released Suspicious Minds, which went on to become Elvis's first number one single since Good Luck Charm in 1962. And of course you see it's loaded with people, but if you go by the location of the trees right there, he was a little further down, or either it was a real tight shot from here. I think it may have been a tight shot from here, because this is the edge of the back of the hotel. That hotel was not there, as I mentioned before. That wasn't there at all. So it was right in here. Make the picture wider. There's another one, him by himself. If you can see that little jet out right there. And then Elvis with the little girl. At the beach. And that beach is this beach. Nassau, Bahamas, Paradise Island. So this right here is the trees that you see in the background. But if you get this close, you see it doesn't have the little jet out like it does when you're further back so I'm pretty sure that the photo this is in the photo this hotel was not here but it happened right over there but that's the reason you see that in the picture it's got that little jet right there yep right here and I couldn't find any photos on the other side of the hotel, but that looks like the clump of trees right there and to the right you see those pools I think those pools were behind the hotel on this side before they built that wall up that you see right here. So there's a security guard there behind the building. Really nice. He said that they are refurbing this, so they are not tearing it down, luckily. It'll be restored, but not going to be the same. Of course, that's been 55 years right at it. So sadly, this time I wasn't able to get in, and the reason that I wanted to go in is there's photos inside. Here's Elvis and Priscilla. And you see those doors behind him and look at that chandelier up there. And then this is Elvis dressed up to go see the band. And you see doors behind him here and look at the curtains and the chandelier over his head. This is another photo. And then this is Elvis with the band. They said that he actually got on the stage with the band, but he did not sing. But he did actually go on the stage with the band at this hotel. Pretty cool stuff, I must say. Maybe next time we can get in and try to do some semblance of a lineup if it didn't change too much. It is also said that this photo is in the Bahamas during this time. No way for me to tell. There's not enough information here, but very possible.
So one more little tiny detail. Elvis used the name John Burroughs as an alias name when he was traveling, and I've never seen that name anywhere associated with Elvis in any way except for Paradise Island in the Bahamas. John Burroughs was one of the original owners of this island. Yep. And we can't find where Elvis used that name before 1970. So he might have just gotten it right here. While you're here, you can rent beach chairs over here, jet ski rentals, you see by the hour. And there is a beach access road right here beside the tower that's to the right. So you can come here and go off into the beach. Look at how beautiful that water is out there. Amazing. Dove, a pigeon. Something on his neck. A ring around his neck. Won't you have a ring around your neck? And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spa Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.